Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care. Hop a day. I'm Clara Calvo bringing you your weekly renewal. It's April, and for many, that is springtime, at least in the northern hemisphere. And for those of you who celebrate Easter or even Passover or Ramadan, many other religions of faith around the world, this is also a time to recognize renewal, new life, whether it is in nature, uh, coming out of the death of winter into the rebirth of spring, or even in our faith. This week specifically is Holy Week for Catholics and many Christians, a solemn time of deep reflection, meditation, and a celebration on the death and resurrection, and an overall reflection in our own lives. Synergy Studios, we just wrapped up a three-week mind-body reset, which called for the abstinence from any animal products and byproducts, so we were plant-based for the entire three weeks, and on the third week was a liquid fast. We've been doing this for many years, but this is something that we try to align with the spring season. I can certainly understand why fasting is also practiced by many world religions. There's, aside from the devotional aspect, there is a clarity of thought and a calmness of mind while fasting. And you could definitely feel that aspect of the spiritual practice and process. So when we think of health and wellness, we usually think of the physical well-being, right? Or even the even mental, emotional well-being. Yet rarely do we consider the spiritual well-being. We tend to separate our faith and religious beliefs and practices and the practicing of our overall health and wellness. However, we're not just physical, emotional beings. We are also spiritual and even electromagnetic beings. And when there is a disturbance or discord or dis-ease, being the lack of ease, anywhere in the totality of our being, it affects all other aspects of who we are and how we're made up. Religious practices have been associated with healing and health overall for millennia. People often pray for good health and relief from illness. Even NIH, the National Institute of Health, conducted a triple blind study, among other research studies out there, which concluded that prayer may result in health and healing through one or more of several mechanisms. And they went on to describe several mechanisms. Dr. Rosmarin, professor of psychology at Harvard Medical School and director of the Spirituality and Mental Health Program at McLean Hospital, says that the research that has been done on prayer shows to have similar be benefits to that of meditation. So the calming of the nerve, nervous system, the shutting down of fight or flight responses. So basically moving from sympathetic nervous system to a parasympathetic nervous system, being less reactive to negative emotions and the like. Meditation is shown to thicken the prefrontal cortex. This brain center manages the higher brain function like increased awareness, concentration, and decision making. So the changes in the brain show with meditation, higher order functions become stronger while the lower order brain activities decrease. In 2005, there was a study of the Journal on Behavioral Medicine. Researchers showed greater decreases in anxiety and stress and more positive mood with meditation beginners. The control group also tolerated pain almost twice as long when asked to put their hand in an ice water bath. So this may seem like a bit of a dichotomy, right? Where science is based on proving theories and religion is largely based on faith. However, spontaneous remission, for instance, is a word given to pretty much any unexplained healing. And we're seeing more and more of that recently. As well, it helps to note the difference between curing and healing. To cure is to eliminate a physical ailment or illness, which can of course return in different ways or very well the same way, whereas to heal is to become whole, to repair and align the mind-body-spirit connection. So that whatever happens on the physical plane with the physical level is met with ease and grace, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. I will see you next time on your weekly renewal. Have a happy Easter. Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care.